Okay, welcome back. And uh, we are right going right into this. Here we go. Um, so yeah, welcome back everybody. Kevin is still out. He's gonna be out for all this week. Um, of these videos coming out. So, you know. Woohoo. You can cry your river. You can also send him a text message. This phone number on screen. Um, that is his actual phone number. And you guys can have it. And you can text him right now. And I'm not even joking. You can actually call that number. And that is actually him. You'll pick up. Um, just make sure you talk about being rich and stuff. Because um, he's black, so he won't talk to you if you're poor. You know what I mean? Um, so, yeah. Uh, and, uh, what was I going to say? So, also, Min Min uh, for Smash just got released. Uh, I believe it was this Thursday, actually. So, yeah, so Min Min just got released this Thursday. Day. And, uh, you know, very cool character. Um, they showed the presentation, you know, like the week before. Oh. And, uh, you know, that was very cool. Um, I think she's a very unique character. And I actually don't think. They, they balanced her super well. Or, well, the idea, right? Like, because, like, this character. Like, the hitbox does not cover her entire arm and her entire reach. Like, most characters, like, if they had a long reach, then the entire thing would cover up a hitbox, right? Um, but, for her, her hitbox is tiny as hell. It's only on her, like, fist in her hands. Right. So, you know, that that's very interesting to me because that makes the character, you know, exactly what Sakurai said was like, you have to play the distance, you know, you got to play the distance correctly. Um, and if you're really close to somebody, you're going to get crapped on like straight up. And, you know, I got to play a couple rounds of somebody else playing it. And yeah, I saw I definitely saw it. While we were playing like a free for all, we were playing like four player smash, like free for all. Um, it still showed that when everybody was up on this character, and when I was up against this character, like they could not get me off of them, uh, like properly because I was so close. And if you barely miss, if you barely miss your arm and you launch it somewhere else, you are kind of, like, screwed in that moment. Because then, because your hitbox isn't your entire arm, so if they jump on your arm, you're not going to get hit, right? And uh, I think that was the smartest way to do that. Um, I applaud them for that, because, like, like for example, like, if, if, a, if a character were to be extending their arm out, something then the hitbox would cover their entire arm you know like a regular fighter but because min min has such a long reach you know you're not gonna it wouldn't be fair to hit that far so yeah i think they balance min min correctly the character works right where heavy characters basically just don't stand a chance against uh, min min You know, like, you have to be, like, up close. You have to be in her face. And, uh... Yeah, you know. Very cool character. Now, a very important thing that I have not talked about... That is super, super, super important. Like, this is so important. Um, and it has to do with the game that we're playing at the moment. Um, they have confirmed a Crash Bandicoot 4. This is huge. Like, this is like su super big. Nice. 
nice. So, you know, like, uh, that gameplay just looks so good. Like, they're, it looks so good. People are crying over... People are crying over the redesign. And I literally don't understand it. I legitimately do not understand it. <laughs> I see that Ripperoo failed to prove much of a challenge yet again. But back to business. There are crystals to be gathered. Twenty to be exact. The planets will align shortly, all thirteen of them. And this will create a power great enough to rip the Earth apart. Properly utilized, however, the crystals can absorb and contain the energy. Crash, is that you? I've been looking everywhere. I don't have much time to tell you this. You have to be careful. Trusting Cortex seems a little unwise, Crash. I can't keep the data path open much longer. Crash, you need to find... Cool. Um... That's a trick for you youngins. There we go. But uh, Crash 4, that is such a beautiful looking game. You know, I cannot get over how good it looks. The controls look awesome. The new abilities, like the masks and stuff, like it looks so good. And uh, I am glad that uh, Toys for Bob is the one taking care of it. I expected that it would be Vicarious Visions, um, just like anybody else would, because obviously with how they handled this, they were probably, you know, if you had to take a guess, they would probably be the ones to be handling it, but, you know, they work so close, Vicarious Visions worked so close with Toys for Bobs when uh, creating the Spyro trilogy. Um, that, you know, maybe they were just, like, back and forthing the idea. And you know what, you know what would be cool? Is if we are gonna get a, another Spyro game, right? But it's created by Toys for Bob. Or, I mean, not Toys for Bob, by Carrie's Visions. Now, that would be cool, because then, you would be seeing the style done, like, two different ways, right? You know, we would be seeing how uh, Vicarious Visions would be handling Spyro and how Toys for Bob would be handling Crash. You know, and the way that we see it now, you know, Toys for Bob is handling Crash very well. Like, design-wise, gameplay-wise, and, like, creativity-wise. You know, I think they are doing a fantastic job. That game comes out in October. So, uh, so that'll be a game to look forward to for sure. Um, and just the possibilities. And just recently, there was something about like the game having like possibly over a hundred levels. Um, so that is quite interesting think about now are they going to now people have noticed in this new gameplay footage that just recently came out of like a pirate theme level and uh it is it has the music to the original insanity beach like the first game like the first level and are thinking that the game will have remixed levels and some original levels. So like original stages and remix stages. So that'll be interesting to see that. You know, to see because I mean they're dealing with like the multiverse and everything that's going down and whatever, right? So, you know, if they're dealing with that, then they could totally, 
like bring some stages back and like remix them a little bit you know like adding up making it like pyro themed you know or making some levels themed in a way like you know it'll, it'll be cool it'll be cool um but if it's all original levels i do not mind that that'll be just as cool um and with cortex you know i think because he destroyed the multiverse or whatever that's like so crash bandicoot you know what i mean like it's just so that game like at first it was interesting right because then you have crash who's just trying to get his girlfriend back and you know like going through you know the islands to try and get to cortex and you know that's like really cool you know i mean it's a very simple plot you know an animal you know, gains sentient. You know, he's not that smart, but he's smart enough to get to where he's going. You know? Um, oh, really? Wow. I actually did that. Um, so, you know, very simple plot. And then Crash 2 is like, okay, well, now I am going to uh destroy the world but i need your help and now there's these portals to different like worlds i guess it's like the best way to describe them i would say um i would say that that's like the best way to like describe this oh that's kind of shit Um, but, uh, and then the third game, it's time travel, dude. So, so once they went there, once they went the time travel route, and you're just like, oh, all right, this is weird, but I mean, it's really cool. Like, I mean, he's a mad scientist. He's able to invent a, a freaking place, the time warp machine, right? And, uh. No, he can do that, and now he's just straight up wrecking the freaking multiverse, uh, which is an interesting thing on its own. That was risky. No! Oh! <laughs> that is so sad. That is so sad. Oh, that hurt my soul. I knew the death route was on this level and I wanted to do it. Oh, that's painful. All right, anyways. Um, you know, so, you know, I mean, I think it sticks true to the game, right? I think it stays true to the idea of Crash Bandicoot. You know what I mean? You know, it's not so bizarre. You know, once once you, they added time travel, you know, that was kind of pushing the line on its own. Oh. So, you know, I don't think it's too far-fetched for them to be like, oh yeah, multiverse, you know. And especially when they added, uh, like, even, even Naughty Dog themselves were trying to, uh, were trying to end the game themselves by adding, by making Crash Team Racing, which they were like, oh, uh, and so they're going to be expecting an actual Crash game. We're going to give them a racing game. And look, aliens, right? <laughs> which is funny. Because then people actually loved it. <laughs> like people actually were like, dude, this is the best. You know? Oh. Really funny, though. How they were really trying to kill the game off. And it just didn't work. They are so good at making games. It 
they just could not end their own series. <laughs> they couldn't get people to start hating it, you know, so that they could stop making it. Which eventually they did by just moving on to Jack and Daxter, you know, which was being made at the same time as Ratchet and Clank, which is pretty cool. Um, but yeah. Which, um, by the way, The Last of Us 2, really, really good game. I still don't know, like, what people are freaking out about to give the game, like, a 3 out of 10. Like, I haven't beaten it yet. I have not beaten the game. I have been playing it on my own. Uh, aside from the playthrough that me and Kevin have. Um, because I think... You know, it's good for Kevin to also experience, but also I don't mind playing through this game again. Like, you know, it's a very fun game so far, and I have been waiting for this game to come out, so I don't mind playing it, like, twice, you know? Um, so far, I think the game mechanics, they aren't so different from, uh, from the original, which, I mean... When you make a sequel, you know, like, you don't have to change, like, how the game originally played, you know, like, you just add new things, you know, and I think that's where a lot of new games falter, right, is when they make a sequel, they make change, even though that's not what people want, people, like, like the original thing then you know obviously they don't want it to change right because that's what made them like it in the first place and you know that's cool if you want to add like small things and make the experience better and change some like tiny things but when you change the entire entirety of the game you know, and it's no longer what people originally love, then obviously it's going to do really bad. Oh. Here we go. So, them adding a few new features like proning and being in the grass and Hiding under cars and stuff, new weapons and whatnot. You know, that is freaking awesome, you know. And adding, like, new enemies like the Stalkers and the uh, Shamblers. You know, freaking Mamma Mia, dude, I love that. They need to keep that up then. Um, you know, really, really cool. You know. But, you know, like, like when they made Crash 1, you know, obviously it was just run and jump man, you know, run and jump bandicoot game. But, you know, when, when, when the sequel came out, they didn't change anything, you know, they... They, they didn't, they didn't change anything. Right. Um, all they did was add new things. They were like, oh, now you can slide. Now you can belly flop. Right? And um, now you can slide. Now you can belly flop. And uh, now you can do all these cool new tricks. And crouch. And slide jump. You know, it makes the platforming much more dynamic. Interesting. And, uh, you know, they, they they even did the same thing with Crash 3, where they were like, you know, at the end of every one, you know, you get, like, a new ability. Oh, come on, I slid right there. Come on, dude. Um, you know, you get a new ability again, but after, like, every boss, you know? And uh, that works just as well. Because then they added double jump, 
they added the longer spin, you know, that also makes you float. They added the super belly flop, you know, the one that could break the uh, metal crates. Um, they added the freaking bazooka, you know. You know, they added things, you know, they didn't take anything away. They just kept adding on to what can make the game better and what could differentiate the gameplay, right? And uh, that's kind of what even Crash 4 is doing, is uh, they have all the same stuff that you can do. You know, nothing has changed. You can still do sliding, jumping. I think you can double jump, actually, still. And um, I don't... They probably took away, um, like, spin floating. Because, I mean, that's a little OP. Um, and that would be understandable if you didn't have that. You know, I, I get that. Um, but, uh, you know, and maybe the bazooka, too. There would probably be no purpose for the bazooka... That game. <laughs> but, um, what's it called? I think there's something down here. No. Okay. Um, but, uh, you know, what they did add was they added, like, this rail grinding and wall running. You know, you still have all the same movement, right? In, as the original game. But now. You have stuff on top of it. You have stuff on top. New stuff that, you can do that also makes you have the same as the original, but now it's enhanced, right? Oh, oops. But now it's enhanced on top. Of it, which is why I love what. Which is why I love what they're doing. <sighs> Yeah, that's my little spiel on how to make a game good. You know, they, they even kind of did that with, like, Mega Man, right? You know, where they didn't, like, change him at all. They just added stuff onto him. You know, the little Mega Buster. You know, the, the cool little Mega Buster thing. Well, how you could charge it and then shoot a big blast that it's sliding. And then, you know, just really cool. No. And uh, that is going to conclude this uh, playthrough for uh, Crash. And uh, I will see you guys next time. And Kevin will actually be around. Uh, or maybe not. Maybe we'll have somebody else. Maybe he'll still be stuck in Mexico or wherever the crap he's at. Um, but I will see you guys next time. <laughs>